Okay, bros. Let me see. Let me see if we are actually uh, online. Uh, Twitch.tv slash shots. All right. Oh, the video is only available to subscribers. Oh wow, that that'd be brutal. I don't actually want to do that. Hang on. I will. Uh, I will change this once I figure out how. You guys know I'm a noob. Uh, audience, everyone. Uh, no. Start a prediction. Manage poll. Wait, wait, wait. How do I? How do I say it's not just subscribers? I'm working on it. I'm working on it, boys. Wait. Shouldn't be sub only. Hang on, hang on. What? How do I? One sec. I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff works. Twitch disable sub only stream. Subscriber streams. I don't know. Go to your broadcaster dashboard. God, everything's so hard to use. I don't want to stream anymore. This was supposed to be fun. And it's not fun because this is too hard. Um, go to your subscriber dashboard. Select subscribers under your audience. Yo, where is this shit? Oh, slash sub only off. Oh, it's not sub only. Oh, all right. Wait, then why, why does this... This video is only available to subscribers. Am I just stupid or? Oh, oh. This isn't live. Oh, great. Now I gotta watch an ad for Toyota. Oh, God. I'm not a subscriber. I'm in. All right. Cool. Can you hear me well? Is the sound quality good? I know these kind of things are important to you. And we are here to deliver a satisfying experience. All right, great. You can hear me well, and the sound quality is fine. All right, so, all right, hang on. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. we got to do mixing. we got to do levels. All right, guys. I know I said I was never going to stream again, but look at this. I wrote this code. It's 100 lines of code, and it's learning how to listen to speech. A second conspirator exchanged the good for not. The jest us all promise well. Like, like we're so close. It's listening. And I, I wrote this from scratch this morning. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what it is. So first we have this data set called LJ Speech. LJ Speech is an open source data set, and I just downloaded it. Um, so you'll see we have we have we have wave files. Uh, we're gonna have to go through. We're gonna have to. I didn't write this code very efficiently, but yeah. So it's like wave files that sound like this. Can you hear this? Enabled the commission to conclude that five shots may have been fired. The okay. examination and testimony of the, the experts, experts enabled, enabled the, the commission, commission to conclude that, that five, five shots, shots may, may have, have been, been fired. fired. The exam. Okay. So I wrote like nothing. This is just pure PyTorch. Um, there's this file in LJ Speech called, and I'll make this a little bigger for you guys. There's this is filed in LJ Speech called metadata, and it's just the name of the wave file followed by uh, this. So I'm SSH'd into, uh, wait, what? Can't be the only. What? My screen died? 
I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand what just happened. Well, either way, the project's called Self Talk. Uh, so I think it died. Yeah, it did. Okay, I don't know. It died. Maybe it had a memory leak or something. Um, it died. Never mind. You know what? I hate streaming. And I hate all of you. Like, why am I doing this? Why, why am I streaming? Real talk. Uh, no, I, I know, but like, explain to me what I get out of this. Really, go buy comma threes. Uh, no, you can't get a refund. No, there's no refunds. What do you think this is? The Bernie Sanders campaign? Get out of here. No, you're all terrible. All right. You, you missed me coding all this. Maybe you already missed the good part of the stream. Okay, so this is like it learning to listen. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll go through and explain kind of how it works. It's very short. Uh, so first we have the data set here. Meh. I don't know. I don't really want to explain this to you. I was having fun doing this myself, I think. I don't think I was I was having fun. I don't think I want to explain it to you. We, we, we can do a little bit on the stream, uh, but then we'll go back to not doing the stream. All right. Uh, I don't know. Stop being pessimistic. Pretend we're not here. Make bigger. You know, when I, when I work myself, I'm just at peace. And then you guys show up, and then we're not at peace anymore. All right, all right we'll, just, we'll just hang out for a bit. And so one of the problems is that this isn't cached. Um, So this is me printing out, you know what? I'm just gonna make it do the sample speech. So you guys can say. Examination and testimony, testimony of the experts enabled, enabled the, the commission, commission to conclude that, that five shots, shots may have been, been fired. fired. The exact. Okay. Um, let me just factor this out. We'll say load uh, example and then X. Spectrum. All right, so I'm using Mel spectrograms, and I took the Mel spectrograms from uh, HiFi GAN. I use the same ones they use. Okay, so maybe I can show you. Yeah, this is a Mel spectrogram, uh, and this represents speech. So here, I'll show you guys what I was doing in the notebook yesterday. Um, this is that file. So this wave file is this. Examination and testimony, testimony of, of the experts, experts enabled, enabled the, the commission, commission to conclude, conclude that five shots may have been fired. Okay, cool. So let's just go up here. Let me insert a cell above. I'll make it a little bigger for you guys. All right. Cool. All right. Can't open this uh, because I moved it. Where did I move it to? Moved it to data. So this is a wave file 
This is the sample rate of the wave file. Uh, so it's, it's 22 kilohertz. Um, and that's that, that wave file that I showed you there. All right, so now I found this thing called a MEL spectrogram and I stole the type of it from the Hi-Fi GAN. So the MEL spectrogram, you can think about it as it turns up. Uh, Michelle's not defined, I'm just gonna run that one. Uh, this, and then let me just put it on a log scale here. And let me fig size it a little bigger so you guys can see. Okay, cool. So this is a spectrogram representation of the waveform. Neural networks are very good at processing images. So we can treat this like an image, and you can see how this image corresponds to this waveform, right? That five shots may have been five. The examination and testimony of the experts enabled the commission to conclude that five shots may have been fired, right? So you can see how this, uh, this wave kind of, kind of looks like that, right? So let's make a validation set that's just this one. And then let's watch this thing learn how to, uh, I, I should be committing this to Git too. So let me just, even if it's junk. Um, let me do git ignore. I cache. Let star swap. It should just be default in all. Sort of works. Okay. I'm not pushing this anywhere yet. It will be called self-talk on my GitHub. Um, how much do you guys like to play at home with, uh, should we call it tiny voice? Ooh, I kind of like tiny voice. It's a lot to change the name though. Uh, the reason it's called self-talk, tiny voice sounds nice. Oh, you're so right. All right, fine. Tiny voice. You know what we'll do? We'll make a sim link. So it's still self talk, but we'll, we'll we'll push it to GitHub as tiny voice. Okay. You guys want tiny voice? Tiny voice. Oh, I like still so cute. Tiny voice. Okay. Mm, tiny voice. I'll push it to GitHub eventually. I don't know. How much do you guys actually like read the code? Does anyone here read the code? You guys can read it here. Just just use a use a use a Yeah, yeah, just copy it from here. There you go. It's already toxic. Is it already toxic? Yeah, you can reconstruct it from the VOD. Perfect. This is the new Twitch streams, and they're all closed source now. This is highly copyrighted shit. We're gonna we're gonna make a company, and we're gonna sell it to Google. That's right. No, we're gonna sell it to Meta, so we can pump my Meta stock. That's right. I bought Meta stock after the uh, Zuckerberg uh, interview, and it was a terrible mistake. It was a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. Um, load example X. Put this stupid comment back up here. Just in case we want the Mel Spectrum to be on log scale. I don't think it really matters. Right, so this processing it, here's your net. This is being fed into a GRU. The GRU is munching across like this. I have a little bit of a preprocessor, a linear ReLU, linear ReLU. I'll have to throw some batch norms in there. This is my forward. It runs prepare. It runs the GRU encoder, which goes across like this. Decode. Uh, we pad all the sequences to be the same length in this beautiful pad sequence function that I copied from some stack overflow thing, and that's why it looks like shit. Uh, this is get data loader, and the reason I put it in a function is so I could use it nicely for my notebook over here. Um, this is my train function. I tried to use PyTorch Lightning, but importing it didn't work due to some TensorFlow crap, but I'm like, I'm just not dealing with this. So I wrote it in raw PyTorch. We're going to get some coffee, and then we're going to get back to coding. Um... Yo, I'm just, you guys know the, the, the 10 minute all too well Taylor Swift? Oh, I just listened to that a lot. I found it.
found it really nice. You can't get rid of it, because I remember it all too well. Yeah, well, no, I, I do the log because it's outputting um, powers and not dBs, and it's a lot easier to visualize dBs. I'll show you what happens if I don't do the log. You can see it. Just looks like this, so it looks like crap. Um, but if we want to actually show it as a nice image, we'll, we'll do it in log space. All right, good. Okay, okay. Um, what did I promise I would do? Oh, yeah, let me get load example here. And then... Let me load example data. Uh, okay, we'll just call this val because my whole val set is this. Down here, we'll just run the model on the val set. We'll call it mguess. Sorry, I'm writing this kind of badly. I apologize for the ugly code. I didn't realize I was going to stream it for you. Okay. So now it's going to learn to recognize, and hopefully we're going to start to see. Uh, itself is not defined. Um, oh, God. Okay, fine. Uh, that's actually useless. We'll just change this to sample rate. Right? So all the waves have the same sample rate. I pre-initialized the MEL spectrogram here. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that doesn't even work. This can't even be here. Let's call it MEL transform. Just initialize it. I love Python. Like I love that you can just do that. Like it's C, you gotta like think. Expect it all to be on the same device. That's fine. It's because I didn't send my example to dot CUDA. Actually, I don't think I put it through any. Uh, I gotta put a, let me get a torch tensor. I can probably say device equals CUDA, and that would save two tenths of a second. But considering we don't care, we won't do that. Okay, so I think now it's just guessing that there's a lot of spaces in the thing. Remember that if this works, why is it, why does it not understand the size of this? Okay, it stopped out putting the spaces. Oh, we should be saving this model every couple epochs too. We'll have to write that code. But eventually you're gonna start to see it generate these words. The examination and testimony of the experts enabled the commission to conclude that five shots may have been fired. Mm. It's actually probably taking a lot. All right, we're using 43% of my 3090. Should I map into phenome space and not word space? I have a neural network. Shouldn't these things be smart enough to just learn? I also hate this, like saving and loading models. All right. Oh, 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 it's starting to learn something. Okay. All right, it, it got the letter T. dot save here uh, model dot state deck for path we want to save it to model slash let's say tiny voice underscore dot torch dot pt uh, epoch 
My epochs are actually real. I'm running through the entire LJ speech data set. Um, let's only do this validation here. These look kind of cool. You can see it's starting to understand how to listen. So what we're trying to do here, um, yeah, I use uh, I use VS Code now. Should I use F strings? You're right. You know what? I should be using F strings. Thank you. You know what? Thank you, sir, who suggested F strings. You are the reason I stream because I do learn little tips from you guys. And remember, I don't stream for you. I stream for me because I hate all of you. Not really. I like some of you. F string guy, you're a bro. I like you. But most of you, I hate. Uh, I do like that. You know what I learned yesterday? Um, I was complaining to one of my coworkers. I'm like, I always paste things and it always has like weird font formatting. You can just do control shift V. Uh, okay. So our loss is getting low, but we still haven't learned anything. I, I, either way, let's throw some batch norms in here. Um, batch norm 2D, a mini batch of two inputs. Yeah. Right, well, first off, we want batch norm 1D. Through batch norm. Okay. So again, we can we can think about what I'm actually putting into this model, and I'm sorry I didn't do this all on stream. But this 80 here represents this dimension here. So we're putting in this image basically with a GRU that we roll across. This is the GRU. Uh, that should be printing stuff every time. I don't know why it's not. But either way, I like the idea. We're not saving, so let's just, let me exit this. Um, also, we have to do something else to make sure it actually gets put in. My CTC loss is actually running in CODNN which I think we can get a good bit more speed if we do that. I uh, remember we're training here on a 3090. Uh, okay, so now it's only listening and it hears R's. So you see all those R's, that's like what it hears. I'm outputting each sample here. I'm doing the, the argmax and putting it on the CPU. Um, should we try it? We can also try a larger batch size and see how that affects things, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's first see if it actually hits my, uh, you know what? I shouldn't really write it like this. This is a bad way to write code. Um, I should put this at the top of this loop. Because the problem with putting it at the, you should actually always run your validation at the beginning of the epoch. This is a trick I learned. Because if you don't do that, there's a chance that your validation stuff breaks and you have to like sit there for an epoch while it runs. And it's interesting to validate just the model that's initialized on nothing. So let's see. Okay, good. It's only, uh, it's only half a megabyte, so that's nice and small. Uh, let me actually also uh, do time.time. Uh, int time.time, we'll just call it uh, Timestamp, I'll write out timestamp. Uh, I don't understand why it's called a timestamp. I don't know what about it is stampy. Let's throw this in here. Oh, wow, wait, bros. I love format strings. That was really nice. That was really nice. Format strings are so nice. Uh, we're using PyTorch because, did you want to write CTC loss by hand? By the way, there's a bug in their CTC loss. Uh, I think we can go a little bit faster if we say, I think it's non-blocking equals true. Can I not do that? I might have to like specify a device. Yeah, it's like two. Yes. That should make things a little bit faster. Um, oh, we should put our batch norm in right now because we're not going to be able to load them. See, you know, we're just going to... Um, okay, let's see. Uh, 
that form layer will now have one or two four running estimates. This probably just works if I do this. Uh, do we put our batch on before or after our activation function? Before. I think I can just do that. Um, I don't know why I put batch on with respect to the. Let me throw this. Let me throw a sequential here. Um, and then dot log soft. A little bit more on the decode because why not? Okay. Good. Now we have some batch norms. We need some batch norms always. Why is that? A, why is that showing up like that? Why do? Guys, you know what I did? Why does that not work? Did I typo some? Oh, you know that close? Oh, we have to import time. Don't forget to import time. Does that take time? Okay. Now we have batch norms, so it should train faster. Running mean should contain 600. Oh, cause, yeah. is there a flag for this that can, no, there's not. NCL, yeah. Do you see the problem? The problem is my sequence isn't shaped like that. The problem is my sequence is actually shaped like LCN or LNC. Uh, I'm sure this is common code and there's like a good way to do this and a stupid way to do it. It's like I want to use the, uh, what's the thing that auto-completes code? Norm 1D, not useful. Embedding, not useful. Guru, not useful. Oh, please don't make me write permutes. It's going to be slow. But the channels are at the end. I really don't know why you care. Doesn't even use batch norm. Can also change it to batch first, but that's still wrong. You guys see the problem? Or just add an extra dimension? Yeah, I mean, I could do this, but I don't really want to. Ugh, like, look, you gotta do this crap. The LSTM is a pack sequence, that's right. No, I don't wanna do that. Whatever, come with those out for now, no batch norms. You get no batch norm. You, you want a batch norm, but you don't get it because you suck. We can use layer norm. Does that sound good? We need some norms. Okay. It's learning how to listen. Did I write this cache code correctly? I did. Uh, so you see like this is what it hears. And you're gonna see, when I was doing this this morning, I started to see words appear and I was so excited and that's why I streamed for you guys. Uh, these models only work on a single a sample rate. Should we get TensorBoard to work? 
What, what, what is the latest coolness that like the kids are using to put their models into? Do you guys know? Weights and biases, should we use weights and biases? Well, this really doesn't work well. Do I have to sign up for this? I hate when I have to sign up for things. Sign up, oh great, okay. I hate all this. Welcome George Hotz. Okay, what's my password? Okay. Oh, let me let me go verify my email. Oh, oh I hate this. Okay. All right. All right. I confirmed my account. Mm, mm, mm. No, 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 that doesn't work. All right, we're gonna have to log in on here. Hang on. Oh, wait, no, okay, this is create your account. My full name is George Hotz. My company or institution is Twitch Stream, and my username is GeoHot. How often do I train models? Every day, bro. What am I interested in doing with weights and biases? Everything, of course. Oh, I'm doing everything, bro. Create a team to collaborate. Oh, uh, skip. Okay, great. Oh. Oh, now I have a secret API key. All right. Um, how do I, how can I hide this from you? Okay, I see how to hide it from you. Oh, look, we're getting some words out. I'm just pip installing WANDB and I'm gonna WANDB log in and then I'm gonna copy and paste my uh, API key. And I'll put something else on the clipboard so you guys can't see it. I'm sorry if I'm talking loud into the microphone. Okay, great. Beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right. Now we're here. No, 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 but like it's, it's learning how to listen, bros. It's learning how to listen, you know? Okay. Import WAN DB. WAN DB init project is, uh, what's the new name for it? Sorry, I forget. Tiny voice. My entity is GeoHot. And all right, all right, all right. What does WANDB watch do? All right, all right. I, I don't know. Um, WANDB log, WANDB watch. Let's put my hyperparameters in here. No, we're gonna get in the habit of writing long variable names. Learning rate, epochs, batch size. Okay, so this is learning rate and this is epochs. All right, look, you can see that it's starting to listen. What's great is that we now saved these models. We should be able to load them. This one. 
torch.load model dot is it torch.load? Torch.load. It's supposed to be fun. Turn in twenty one. Wait, do I do this instead of? No, there's like a stupid way to do this. Ugh. Like load the state dict. Here we go. We say model dot load state dict torch dot load. Uh, I want to put those in the models directory. Models. Let's, by the way, let's add that to get ignore. Can I hook it up to my microphone once it's trained? Yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of where I hope we get to in this stream. Uh, we'll have to transfer it to this computer, but that should be fine. I will have to commit it to GitHub then. Rename it subprime intellect. All right, uh, let's see. Currently logged in as Geohot, okay, great. Run Wandy. Oh. All right. Let's view. Oh, you guys should be able to view my project. Can I make it public? Oh. Wow, that's a lot of loss logging. Can Wandy B handle all this? How come validation still isn't printing anything? Uh, did I do something wrong? Shouldn't do anything. I don't know. Whatever, let's let it train for a bit. It's slow though. Why is it slower? Okay. When DB log for the val loss. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't even have a val loss actually. I, I was just printing the string in the validation. And I like got this one wave file. Mm, all right, all right, look at that. Graph goes down. That's pretty good, bros. What's in system? Oh, it's GPU power usage, GPU memory. Oh, that's pretty good. Who loves WANDB? Can WANDB log anything? I don't have all day to stream. I, I do have to go to work. You know, some of us have to eat lunch. Um, the numbers are going down. Okay, should we figure out how to get Batch Norm in? Is Batch Norm gonna actually make things a lot better? I wish we wan DB'd from the beginning because we're gonna have to restart the model. But by the way, can we talk about how these almost look like words now? Uh, we can just actually, we can just do the validation over here. So this is just a notebook I have. First off, let's move that up there. Uh, by the way, you guys, I don't use Vim anymore. I use uh, VS Code. So everyone who like, I use VS Code with Vim key bindings, but everyone who like, you know, circle jerked about Vim, like, well, you know, I'm sorry, but I use VS Code now. I've moved into the future, okay? Some people are still not understanding the new normal and the new normal is VS Code. Uh, from rec, import rec. Um, we'll keep this. Let's get the latest. Oh, I wish we could play Taylor Swift uh, on stream, but we definitely can't because Taylor Swift is super copyrighted and Taylor Swift's very protective of her music. And it's a shame because, no. 
Uh, but I don't know, man. Maybe if I was in the industry, I'd hate them too. So I don't blame Taylor Swift, you know? You can't, you can't, you can't blame Taylor Swift. Okay. Uh, what else are we gonna load? Where's this crap? Rack and port load example. Get rid of the dot CUDA because we'll just run this on CPU. Uh, I don't understand that. Let's do that equals that. And let's take a look at the image. Let's make sure uh, I'm show torch dot log 10 that. Okay, great. So it's just it's the same image, it's just rotated. If we want, we can you know, throw some T's on that. Uh, and uh, you get that image, okay. Now this is what we feed into our model, which we constructed up here. Val, Val, just to match. How's our training going? Oh, look, our loss is getting low. Let's check our WAN DB. Uh oh, do I only have the, the beta ver do I only have the trial version of WANDB? So I can't have tiny numbers? I don't get it. Wait, I don't get it. How come these numbers are lower than the numbers I see here? I feel like I feel like we didn't buy the WANDB professional edition, so we don't get any more steps. Maybe it's just slow? It does have to go all the way to the cloud. No, I just think we're not getting any more. Oh, look at these gradients, wow. What is this? Can I make this public? There you go. Enjoy, guys. Check out WANDB GeoHot Tiny Voice, and you can watch Tiny Voice training in real time. I, no, I think that's never mind. I think it's real. I just don't understand why those numbers are lower than those numbers. Logging it every time, or watching it every time. Oh, I think we called watch way too many times. Well, this is uploading way too much stuff. Let's throw that out there. Waiting for WANDB process to finish. Uh, I'll load this one. Load this one here too. Um, oh, yeah, see, I, I knew I did some stuff wrong. I think it's just because I. It's not because of the loss, it's because I, I uploaded the, I put watch at every single step. Um, oh, put it before the train loop? That's always smart, thank you. Thank you for following my rule of putting it before the train loop. Okay, great. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Let's look at the new run here. Is it, what's it called? Does it have some new name? Oh, Glorious Music! Oh, we love Glorious Music. Okay, look, the losses are tiny now. Great. Things are improving. Things are improving, boys. Things are improving. Look at that, it's updating in real time now because we're not uploading the gradients at every single time step. We're also training faster. So this is a win for everybody. You know, when you just make things faster, the whole world gets better. Um, okay, so this is mguess. Let me print mguess for you guys. Actually, we can do one better and we can imshow mguess. Uh, can I call tensor and numpy on tensor that requires grad? Let's detach numpy, does that work? Uh, okay, well, it's the wrong size. Oh, maybe that's the problem. No, I used that. Okay, never mind. Um, I 
This should just work. Uh, we char set. Multiply loss. Well, that loss is one. One is a great loss, okay? Whenever I get losses around one, I'm happy. Don't char set right. Yeah, I don't understand. It didn't work. Oh, why is that zero? Okay, there's some bug. Oh, what? Yeah, it's because you gotta do this. The, uh, I forgot, I did in the wrong order. Okay, we're good. Ho ho ho! Oh, yo, yo boys, look what we got here. Well, first let's fix this bug, but Wait, 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 just, just, I want you to, let's go back to LJ speech. The, ex the examination and testimony of the experts enable the commission, right? Is that pretty good? Wait, can we talk about how you used to get like a PhD for doing this shit and now you can do it in a hundred lines of Python? That's right, that's right, college academic system. Oh, it's wet in my bathroom. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to commit this to GitHub. Um, so I can uh, get it to run on my computer. Do you think it'll work that much better if we get some... Uh... The latest. I'll play There Will Be Fireworks. Oh, I love that song. Uh, whoa. Look, 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 the examination and testimony of the... Oh, it's like almost hearing, man. You can imagine like a kid hearing like this, you know? This is how a child learns to hear. Oh, glorious music. Oh, great, and like this is like useful now. Yeah. See how it didn't like do all that stupid stuff? How many viewers we got? I can't tell. Oh wow, we got we got eleven hundred viewers. What are you guys doing today? Okay. Um let's take a model and let's commit it. Uh good model. That's a stupid name. Models underscore good. What do you think? No. We'll just say demo. Um, yeah, and then we'll see if we can hook it up to the microphone. Why does WANDB have a directory? Demo time. Okay. Let me go over here to GitHub. New repo, repository name, tiny voice. 
giving, letting, uh, we'll, we'll make the description, letting computers listen to you and really care. That sounds good. No GitHub. I'm not naming my shit main. I'm sorry, but it's called master. I, I know that that language triggers GitHub, but you know, ban me. Um, now really what I wanna write with this is, uh, okay, let's go over here. Um, Git clone, tiny voice. Let's open this up in VS code. By the way, I love VS code. Can, can we talk about how nobody uses Vim anymore? Um, it's just like when main's the default, I don't care. Just pick a default and stick with it. Let's see if this, so this is running now locally on my computer. Oh, we don't have a model named Torch Audio. Pip install Torch Audio. Great. Oh, no. No! Okay, you know what? Do we need Torch Audio? Yeah, we do in order to do FFTs. Oh, why would they do this to me? I pip install upgrade torch. Come on, this is gonna work, right? Torch audio is weird. Am I selling this whole to Microsoft? Yeah, I know, I love GitHub. Oh man. All right, WAN DB. Uh, pip install WAN DB. Not like we need it, but in the thing and it imports, great, enjoy. Uh, no file, okay, that's a better error because I put it in demo. Mm, not in demo. Oh, did I copy the wrong one? Is that a bigger number? That's yeah, a bigger number, all right, we're good. Attempting to deserialize, oh, we have to map location because I saved, uh, yeah, okay, right. Great. Um, did I not commit after I wrote the M guess code? Let's make sure we're getting the same guess on my Mac here. We're not. Why not? How come this one gives me a different thing than this one? But the image looks correct. Um, That just doesn't make sense. Oh. Of course. Same bug. Okay, good. Char set's not defined. It's... Should have committed better. All right. The examination of the commission to conclude that grade. Are our loss is still going down. Let's let's go to this fancy web interface to confirm that number is still going down. Oh, glorious music. This is, we're doing glorious music, right? All right. Uh-oh. Number might have stopped going down. Do we need to use learning rate decay? I feel like we might need learning rate decay. We're using the GPU over here, but we're not using it here. Oh, that number is pretty low now. Is that number actually that low? Yeah, that's a pretty low number. I wish it like didn't repeat letters. Uh, okay. Python, listen to sound card. Recording sound. Oh, have I tried Pi Audio? All right, all right let's give this a try. Search cell above, and then if this works, we're gonna go to work. All right. Import pi audio. 
Is there, is there a way to do this with torch audio? That is terrible. All right, I'm sorry if the audio breaks, I didn't do it. All right. Format, int 16, that's a great format. Uh, rate, no, we need this divided by two. Um, chunk, one, two, four. I don't know what a chunk is. Channels, oh, we don't need two. Two is a lot of channels. One channel is plenty of channels. Okay. Um, oh, I see, it reads chunk. All right, record seconds, five sounds good. Mm, stream, stop stream, what's P? Oh, we're gonna P terminate. Okay, gotta terminate the P. Great. No module name Pi Audio, okay, well. Pip install Pi Audio. No! No, it didn't work. Port audio not found. Pi audio brew install. Okay, let's see. How to install Pi audio on a Mac? Oh, we just need to, but he had installed Pi audio. We have to brew install port audio. Hmm. Okay, now we pip install Pi audio and we cross our file. Oh, it worked. Oh, I'm so happy when it works. Okay. Uh, this is where I'm SSH, so we're not doing this one. By the way, I want to point out the model is still training in the background, so it's learning to be better. Every day it becomes better. No module named Pi Audio. Oh, because I'm on, wow, okay, I'm still on this computer. One computer. Actually, yes, I can access the microphone, but let me make a new file. We'll call it listen.ipynv. Uh, five is a lot of seconds. Three is a good number of seconds. All right. Hello, Python. Hello, Python, can you hear me? Am I talking into the void? Let's take a look at frames here. All right, that kind of looks like data. Um, we can do, I think it's np.from buffer, np.in16, uh, a bytes like object is required, not list. Oh. Um, uh, join frames, all right. Okay, great. Uh, now we need to normalize this. Divided by that. Um, where's that mel spectro shit? Right, here we go. Call it waveform. Mm, oh, I installed Torch Audio, right? And that worked? Yeah, that worked. Torch Audio, sample rate. Why don't I even write that as a parameter? Um, now spectrogram, M show. Okay, so this is what, this is the talking I did. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. Uh, int object is not. That shouldn't be right. Did I do something wrong? Oh, oh, wait. Did that? No, that turned it into floats. Int object is not callable, but why is it an int? Don't look like an int to me. Let's plot it. Okay, great. Let's record again. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. All right, that looks about right. Hello, Twitch. 
we are learning to recognize whatever. Um, int object is not callable. Why is this an int? It's not an int, bro. Bro, bro. I wouldn't do you like that, bro. Oh, does that have to be a torch sensor? Expected double, but found float. Okay, 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 okay. That's doable. Um, as type torch dot float thirty two. Type invalid shape for image data. Okay, okay, that's an improvement. Uh, that's because we gotta just throw a none in here, I think. All right, cool. Yeah, bros, I'm feeling it. Okay, now we gotta shove this in the, what did I say again? Well, let's make this, we can play that, right? Um, Python play pi audio. Read frame, self.stream.write, okay, whatever. Wow, this, this library really is very verbose. What did I just do? Insert code cell above. Um, we need to open a stream, we need to say output equals true. Uh, for f in frames. Uh, stream dot write f, and then we can say stream dot close. I have to have better posture, you know. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to record. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to record. All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 try it. Do you really want batch norm, bro? Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. Great day. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. Great day. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. Great day. Okay, cool. And that's what it looks like. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. Great day. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's go over here and let's get the model out. We need the model as model. Okay, loading. Now, um, oh, we need load example. Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, eh, what does load example actually do? It just does the mel, so it's just the mel spectrum. So, mel spectrum. Dot t, dot j. Uh, so dot t. Right, great. Okay, that's what goes into the model. Let's go over here to the model. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's change this to val equals mel spectrum sub so zero dot t. That's a stupid thing. I would say. Airport Arco PP rate E. Okay. Well, I don't think there are bugs. I think that, uh, <laughs> are there bugs? I don't think so. I think we wrote it right. Unless some reason we didn't get the rate right. How do we know that? Well, we know that if we do the length of the wave. That's about right, right? Because it's like that times five. Hello, Twitch. We are learning to recognize speech. Great day. I think we need some batch norms. <laughs> Apor Arco PP Ratty. Okay, let's try a different recording. Let me let me try to sound as much like. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta mock the LJ speech lady. Let's go. The examination and testimony. Hello, I am speaking like the woman from LJ Speech. Recognize. Hello, I am speaking like the woman from LJ Speech. Hello, 
Why does that look the same? Hello, I am speaking like the woman from LJ Speech. Hello, I am speaking like the women from LJ. All right, all right, all right. Is this progress? Oh, our losses are getting lower. That seems good. Do we need batch norm now? We might just need batch norm. Hello, I'm Peculiar M. Hemorrhoids Tipperia. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's try a simpler, let's try something very simple. I slowly walked to the store. I slowly walked to the store. I, 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 I slowly walk. <laughs> um, okay. Well, do you think batch norm's gonna fix it? <laughs> Maybe we might need some batch norm. We'll try a little bit with batch norm. If it doesn't work, then uh, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, the examination and the testimony of the experts. Oh, that one works now. Okay, the problem is that it can only recognize the LJ speech lady. I'm not sure more layers. I think batch norm might actually fix it because the problem is that we have covariate shift. And I don't really know what covariate shift is, but All right, let me just make a quick class called Good batch norm. Uh, and we're going to initialize a bn equals nn dot the batch norm 1d. Uh, let's say uh, channels. I've been trying to not use just single letter variables everywhere. Forward self x. Turn bn sub x, but no, okay, we're gonna, all right, so we have lnc and we have to permute it to, what's the right thing to put in, ncl? So we'll say dot permute one, two, zero, dot permute one, two, zero, is that right? All right, Going good batch norms here. Wait, good batch norm is a terrible name. Call it temporal batch norm. Oh, that's a much better name. Wow, we have a lot of viewers. I'm sorry I'm gonna let you all down. Uh, no, 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 we're back. We, we did some streaming today. I guess there's really demand for this shit. Um, all right, let's take a minute since we have all these viewers here for an ad. All right, check out commabody.com. You can buy a comma body and put your comma three on your comma body. Look at it. It is the future of people, man. Like this is a person and this is a comma three and this is a body. And you can click buy it and you can buy one. Like it'll ship in a bit. Yeah, that's great. All right, make sure you buy a comma three too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy this one. It's expensive. All right, good. Yeah, add it to cart. Wow, that's a lot of money, man. Wow. Um, all right, look, it winks at you. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look, look, look. That's what the inside of a body looks like. It's not just a hoverboard on a stick, man. It's hoverboard parts in a remanufactured stick. 
Oh yeah, great. Oh my god. All right, cool. Thank you for watching my ad. Uh, let's see if it works with batch norm. Oh, WANDB takes forever to boot. Now it's gonna like complain, like my batch form's not even gonna be right. See, there we go, I knew it was wrong. Oh. All right, we're not gonna WANDB in it yet. Uh, we can't load, because it's a different kind of model now. Oh, also, let me just look quickly into how we can maybe make it a lot faster. Um, if we can get the CTC loss to be on the charge CTC loss. You must call WANDB a net before calling watch. Okay. Well, I wish there was just fake WANDB. That wouldn't make me comment all that stuff out. All right, so my real dream with this, and I might stream again this weekend, uh, is to uh, make like cycle dam, but like make something that does speech to text to text to speech, and it's like all in one, right? Um, I'll show you also what I've been working on at Comma. Uh, I've been getting the streamer to be super low latency. So this has been this has been my other project here. Um, I can now stream in about 100 milliseconds of latency from like all the things on the device. Uh, so yeah. Um, all right, let's look up permute. Torch. Oh, I didn't finish this. In order to use CUDNN, Targets must be concatenated format. Oh, we want to do concatenated format. It shouldn't matter. Um, instead of doing this, we say dot join x sub one for x in sorted batch. Say labels. That should work. Expected stir instance list found. Oh, no, yeah, because that's not right. Um, how do you do that in Python? Like, I want to turn, like, I have, like, a bunch of nested arrays. Python unnest arrays. No, 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 that's not what I want. Can you do some? Oh, that's right. Oh, I can do some. Oh, that's cool. It should work. This might be a lot faster on the loss. Uh, list object has no attribute to, oh, because we have to turn it into a tensor. But actually, there's a rule for which tensor we can turn it into. It has to be an int32 tensor. Uh, D type int 32. What is what I say? I just say like, like torch, let's say labels equals torch, tensor labels D type equals torch dot int 32. That's actually be an int 32? Is documentation even right? First time chat from viewer, do you take Adderall? See, we have like this shit. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not faster. Never mind. I, I just got excited and I thought it was faster. Uh, I hope it's just correct, even. Oh, I guess one way to tell if it's correct would be to load the old models. Then I have to get rid of the batch norm. Do we think batch norm's actually really gonna help? Sometimes 64. Oh, because it's the other size. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. We want them to be NCL. So this is the batch size. Yeah, I think this is right. This is NCL. N C L. N C L. Okay, that's right. But now my better question, I guess, is is that what's wrong? This puts it back. Put it back to what it was. Wait, no, no, that's C. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, this isn't right. You can't undo a permute by. Can I do? How do I do unpermute? Okay. This. Right, fine. I'm gonna write this out. L N C, and after this, it's an N C L. And then to go back in L N C, we need this. That should be right. I want to confirm that the shapes are the same. Yeah, you got it. You got it, bro. All right. XX equals self dot BN XX. Return XX. All right, let's go. We have batch norm now. Is it going to be slower? Seems pretty fast. Not slower. Oh look, it's getting T's. Look at the T's, the T's show up. Um, okay, let's think about what other changes do we want to make to our model? It just might not hurt to make it bigger. I'll just say like H equals, now it's 128, but. Let's make it like 256, double. Please augment the input. Oh, you're right. I do have to do data augmentation. Oh, that will fix this. Um, okay, it's only slightly slower to do that. I don't know if this bigger model is actually gonna help. Um, how much, if I decrease the batch size? I think I want to increase batch size, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to write some augmentation. I saw a blog post that did augmentation, and it was just like, that's a lot slower now. But maybe it learns better. Should we try this one for a bit? Let's put WANDB back in. I'm gonna just gain this behind.
Okay. Uh, we can also probably use... Uh, do we want to import Apex and use Atom with the folded gradients? It'll make things faster. A little bit, anyway. I'm using only 38% of my GPU. Let's, you know what we can do? We can go to our WAN DB here and we can see. Oh, okay, good. Look at Honest Salad up there. Can I zoom in like this? That was slow. And the back button didn't do what I wanted it to. Man, if only we trained the other models. Oh my God, look how much better it is. It's already saying letters. I feel like the other one did not learn this fast. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. The purple thing's coming in like a comet, bros. Yo, that's why you gotta use batch norm. Look at that, look at that batch norm. It's just gonna smash through everything, like the patriarchy, man. Just smash through it, you know? Let's go, let's go. Honest salad. Oh, look at, look at that honest salad. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, we do need data augmentation, too. Um, I saw a post that talked about this. Speech recognition, it's like on assembly AI. Uh, no, they're just trying to sell me shit. Well, the good news is if we add augmentation, we don't need to retrain the model. We can, we can just start from the old model. I'm pretty happy with the model now. Good bit of batch norm. We got a bunch of nonlinearities. We got a GRU. I don't know what nonlinearities GRU uses. Oh, well, come on. You're supposed to keep going, man. You got you to gotta smash through the other one. Oh, God, that looks good. Look at purple. Well, it depends on what kind of data augmentation you want to do. So I think that we can look at these like images and what I've seen is pretty effective is if you just like, like just crop out parts of the image. Look, look at the power of batch norm. Just, I'll, I'll leave you guys here for a minute to watch that purple line just go down. How's purple doing? Is purple gonna pass red soon? See, that's the beauty of machine learning when you do it right. It just works. Looks like the Luna price chart. Yo, anyone who is stupid enough to invest in a stable coin that is backed by a shit governance token is an idiot, deserve to lose their money. So, um, yep, that's right. No bailouts in DeFi. If there's bailouts in DeFi, I'm gonna be upset. All right, uh, let's zoom out on this. No, I don't want to view full screen. Why would anybody want that? Why is that the... How do I zoom out? No, no, that zoomed in more. Oh, well, actually, that did it, and I don't really know why, but... Okay. Mm. 
I don't actually know if we're, we might be overfitting because we don't have a real validation set. But that sounds like a pain to write. Do we want to write that? I don't know. It might just be overfitting. That's a lot of work. Well, okay. The good news is we can load these models again. So we can kill the thing. Um, let's add a little bit of dropout. Dropout. Really? Yeah, dropout's fine. Uh, drop out. I right, fine, fine, fine. I'll write the thing. Um, get metadata. Uh, okay. Val equals true. Val equals false. Okay. Uh, how do we want to do this? You know what? I, I hate the Python filters now map. Um, okay. That should be good. Unfortunately, we've shown it the... Fortunately, we've shown it the whole Val set, so we might want to train the model from scratch again. Copy and paste. I'm sorry, it's ugly, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, val loss print val loss and we'll wan db log it. Throw an item there. Wow, the loss is getting low. Where's my wan db? Oh, look at look look at on a salad. It's all meaningless without a validation set, though. That's right. You know, just like you should always put CI on your shit, if you don't write a validation set, you know, that's just terrible. Let's use a format string here. All right, val loss colon. Oh, how do I format string with like, I should look that up. 
Python format string flow format. Like I want to do like, there's like a way to do this. Yeah, it's like this. No, 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 it's not like that. It's like that. Okay, fine. Um, where's my val loss? Okay, so it's colon point two f. Um, turn wan off for now. Like that we gated it. That, there is probably that functionality built in if we knew how to use it. Oh, great, Unicode. Python three. Okay, okay. Do I have to encode it into UTF-8 or decode it from UTF-8? Whoever thought that string should be Unicode, I'm, I'm upset with you. No, no, it shouldn't get that much metadata. Wait, why, why did they both do that? Oh no, because this is this get metadata. Um, let me throw an LRU cache on that. Funk tools dot LRU cache non import funk tools. You don't do that twice. Um, set as length self dot meta. I'm gonna make it an F string. Oh, I love F strings. Oh, I'm using them everywhere now. Strings should be saved as PNGs. Mike is inventing UTF-9. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if that's a joke or not. Um, mean argument must be tensor and not list. Yeah, I was afraid of this. How do I like do this? It's gotta be like a nice way to do this, right? Torch.tensor? I guess I can do that. See, this is why we put the validation in the beginning. Okay, so we have a 700 thingy validation set. That's pretty good. All right, good, good. Okay, good, we have a low val loss, but now let's see if when we don't load the model, if we still have a low, low val loss since we didn't train on them. We are making a change now to the thing, so if there's any changes we wanna make in our model, we should do them now, but there's not. So it's not really a change to the model format. Uh, we'll turn WAN back on. We'll remove the load. We'll train from scratch. Let's go. All right, Avid Sun 5. Let's go, Avid Sun. How's Avid Sun going to do compared to Honest Salad? All right, we're starting with a very high val loss. Right, more val. All right. It's off to Avid Sun's off to a pretty good start here, even with a little bit of dropout. Augmentation we can always add. Wait, where's my chart for val loss? Oh, val loss! Oh, just when I was asking about it, it showed up. Can I compare val loss to loss? Mm, no, that doesn't work. Like, there's gotta be a proper way to do this. WAN DB val loss. Train loss, val. This has to be like the most common thing. Commit equals false. Somewhere else I'm ready to report this step. Oh. Oh, okay. We can we can write uh, commit equals false here and it'll make it slightly better. Um few times per second. You should aggregate them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I don't know. How much of my time am I just wasting in WAN? Well, not that much, because otherwise the batch thing would break it. Uh-oh, okay, it does not learn as fast now that we have, uh, 
that we have batch norm does not appear like it's overfitting. That's good. Oh, I gotta go, it's lunchtime. Okay, well, either way, we have a pretty decent model here. Let me just grab this. We can try running it. Go to the other window here and listen. Let's try this one. Hmm, no. I slowly walked to the store. I slowly walked to the store. All right. All right, it's something. I mean, this might just take way longer to train. We're training it for a hundred epochs. Now we had a dropout. Look, look at how look at how the curves change from when I added dropout to when I didn't have dropout. I don't know if we're doing are we doing too much dropout, you think? I only did point one dropouts. So that doesn't seem like a lot of dropout. But it's recurrent dropout, so it might be a lot. We don't know if we were having a problem with overfitting, so maybe we actually don't need the dropout. Yeah, but gurus love overfitting. Okay, well, there's no problems with the vowel loss. We definitely have no um, overfitting problems. All right, all right, chat, I'll, I'll talk to you for a minute. What do you guys want to talk about? Give it more GPU? Yo, should I put it on my A100? Train till overfit, maybe then try the other one till overfitting. Uh, you think the mic being different makes it... We have an A100 somewhere. We, we just bought one. We love A100. Um, because, of course, if you want to put it in a data center, you got to use A100. But this is just in my workstation, which I can use a non-A100 for. All right, I'm actually, like, this isn't that good. I, I don't know. Uh, should, we, should we get rid of the dropout? The dropout's too much. Who, who trusts dropout anyway? Uh, the good news is we can just load from the most recent. Okay, this is clean with the valve set and stuff, so we're good. Ooh, look at that. It made an ASCII graph of my loss. Is some way for me to tell WANDB that I'm continuing and it doesn't make fallen grass? But I guess fallen grass is okay. We can turn off on a salad and have it sun and stuff. Oh, look, it closes the eye. That's really cute. All right, we turn dropout off. Dropout sucks. Oh, yeah, actually, we can't. No, we're not. Oh. If I want to use dropout, I have to set whether it's training or not, and I didn't do that. Um, we also changed it to not sync until we push the val loss, so. All right, there's fallen grass up there. Oh no, does it only have one data point now? Oh no, that'd be sad if that's true. Oh, what? It only has one data point? Oh, that sucks. It's not enough data. I regret writing commit equals false. But there should be a way for me to resume. Is there any way I can say resume fallen grass six? Okay. 
resume. Set the resuming behavior. All right. So we can say WAN DB run ID equals fallen grass sex. I'm just learning how to use WAN DB boys. Maybe using attention will improve the quality of the model. Should we use attention? Do we need attention? Did it really resume fallen grass? I don't think it did. Oh, we have this fallen grass sex, which is a different fallen grass sex, I see. Great, I mean, I don't know, that looks like a pretty good comparison graph. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't care what it means. We're not doing science here, we're doing party. And we will call this commit party. Even though it doesn't have anything to do with a party, we just called it party and remember that it's not a party uh, if it happens every night. Call it Fallen Grass 6 New. I like the way you're thinking, bro. I like the way you're thinking. Um, all right, let's let it train for six more minutes. On a salad, got a pretty low loss. Let's see if we can actually see if make it overfit. I can't imagine why it wouldn't overfit. I don't have that many examples. But maybe the CTC loss is pretty uh, robust to it. Oh, we also have to remember that we changed the batch size between these models. So maybe that's one of the things that made it better. Let's see what's in here. Oh, check it out. Fallen Grass 6 uses more GPU power. That's good. Um, GPU time spent accessing memory? It's wild. GPU temp. Oh, it's probably being loud right now. Network traffic. Well, Glorious Music did a lot of that. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I think that was the one I messed up, my logging, and had it logging everything forever. Look at that val loss go down. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't do torch no grad. Yeah, that would make my valve slightly faster. It doesn't matter though, because I mean, I zero the grad out here, so it, it shouldn't make a difference uh, from a like accuracy perspective. You're right, but I should do that for my valve. Um, looks like it's IO bound. I don't think it's IO bound. <laughs> um, Probably like, you gotta get like the grooves and stuff to go on the thingy and I probably didn't do that. But I did have ones that like got pretty good on that validation sentence. Uh, oh, we didn't actually make sure the validation sentence is not in the data set also, but it doesn't matter. We have a proper validation set now because we're doing real science. Yeah, it's, it's a 13,000 example data set. I filtered out some of the really long examples. Uh, you can read the code. Okay, so here's my end dream of this. Once I make this thing actually recognize speech pretty well, um, I want to then build... So you have a speech recognizer and then I can have a speech synthesizer. And if I build an end-to-end -end thing that does both, um, especially if I'm passing in. So one of the biggest problems in building speech recognizers is the alignment problem. 
uh, it's a problem in text. It's a problem. In, it's a problem in both speech recognizers and text to speech, right? Because if you have a data set that contains speech and you have a data set that contains text, right? Like it's a, let's say not, it's like a supervised set. Here's your speech. Here's your text. You don't know where in your speech corresponds to which text, and we can kind of see this here in the notebook, right? Um, let's let's go over to that notebook where I talked, right? Uh, so this is the Mel spectrogram. What did I say? I slowly walked to the store. So I slowly walked to the store, right? You can see it there. But you don't know where in that waveform, like we can annotate it and say this is I, and this is slowly, and this is walked, and this is to the store. Right, like we, we could annotate that, but we, we don't have that by default. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but if we train jointly something that both recognizes and synthesizes speech, we can deal with this by putting in the probability outputs from the, uh, we don't need the probability, I think we can, we can max it, but we can put in where the empty symbols are. You see these zeros? What these zeros represent, uh, okay, sorry, I'm not explaining this well. I'm using this loss function. Uh, this loss function deals with this alignment issue, but the alignment issue is easier to deal with when you're recognizing speech than when you're synthesizing speech. Uh, and then this thing, it's, it just incentivizes it to output zeros uh, if there is nothing. But I can put these zeros into the talking model, uh, and that'll help. We can also use a phonetic, instead of using the letters, we could use a phonetic pronunciation. Um, I think it should be okay. You could also change your GRU to be a bi-directional GRU, but I don't exactly understand how a bi-directional GRU works, so I didn't use one. Where's Honest Salad? Uh, how come we are losing so much to Honest Salad? Why was Honest Salad better? What else did we change? Nothing. I took the dropout out. Whatever. This one looks okay. Fallen Grass looks okay. Tortoise text to speech. This one's open source. Sorry. Once you have the first token, you want to predict the second token given the input and the first. There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence there that is has a way never to gone measure out the of acute emotional intelligence. There is a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence which has never gone out of style oh these are so good yeah i know but this is what i found too and basically everybody who writes a decent text-to-speech thing decides that they're going to put a cloud interface in front of it and start a shitty startup which sucks i mean it's not like i'm going to do it better because that stuff's a lot of work and like i said we're not here to do science we're definitely not here to do engineering we are here to do party uh, and party does not involve, you know, making things nice and runnable for people. Um, yeah, that's really good. Uh, but I think it'd be cool to like train one that's that's like end to end uh, from speech back into speech, going through this intermediate. Oh, are we starting to overfit. Oh, we might be starting to overfit, boys. Uh, okay, we're not overfitting yet. We're not getting worse on the vowel loss yet. Sounds like a bit of work to balance the two losses. I don't know about that. I mean, my, my point is that I, I would force the encoder and the decoder to go through this intermediate bottleneck. Maybe I could include some like embedding about what, what speaker it is. And we can get other data sets that are trained on uh, multi-speaker data sets. What was this trained on? <laughs> I 
How does this thing work? Let's see what they're doing. What are we running in the terminal? This is my trainer running. And you can see that it's learning how to kind of recognize some speech. How's it doing compared to Honest Salad? Why is Honest Salad better? Does anyone know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at that. Is that overfitting? Did I just see an overfitting? I think I just saw an overfitting. We'll give it a little bit longer and see if the overfitting continues. Can't be too overfit because it hasn't memorized the uh, the input data yet. Okay, no, it's not an overfitting. Never mind. It was just random noise. What's overfitting? Overfitting is when you start to just memorize the training set instead of actually uh, uh, like learning the problem. So the way that you control for overfitting on a problem like this is you just separate your data set into training and validation, and then you run the neural network. You run the same loss function on this part of the data set that is not used for training, and you make sure that that loss function stays low also. What is the reason overfitting exists? That's, uh, uh, that's a pretty deep... Uh, you, you think about it like... Uh, it's because uh, there's not enough training data. All right, imagine you were taking a test and you knew that there were only gonna be 10 questions on the test and you could like learn how to do them or you could just memorize the answers, all right? If it was like a physics test, it's not like you'd know any physics, but you could know all the answers if there's only 10 questions on the test, all right? But you see, if the 10 questions I give you in practice are different from the 10 questions on the test, then the only way to do it is to learn physics. And an overfit model would then fail at the validation. It might do great on the training set, which is the practice test. Right, imagine you have a practice test, and on a practice test, you just memorize all the answers. Uh, yeah, humans can overfit too, of course. Humans sometimes have awareness of the fact that they're overfitting, but sometimes they don't. All right, I mean, how many epochs are we into this model? 35. Worse, <laughs> worse, did worse. Honest Salad was the best model. Fallen Grass is on par with Glorious Music, very low quality. I don't know why it's worse. I didn't turn the batch norm off, did I? Still on. Batch norm 1D. Ooh, decode. Oh, looks pretty good. Do a ReLU after the GRU. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Does a GRU have an activation function on the output? The sigmoid function. Ew. I can change that. I probably shouldn't have put this value here. I doubt that matters too much. It's a fancy optimizer. It'll, uh, it'll learn to fix whatever stupid mistakes I make like that. Unless I've really destroyed the information. 
I don't know. I mean, the Val loss is still going down. What are we building speech recognition for? Oh. All right, guys. I gotta go to work. I gotta eat food. Any last questions? We'll see if we stream again. Neural networks are quite dangerous for applications that actually matter to people's health and safety. Bro, you are a neural network. Uh-oh. The loss just went way up. We took a bad step. Wait for that to load. One of the problems with streaming uh, neural network stuff is we all just have to sit here while it trains. And like I can throw more GPUs at it, but I don't know. All right, let me just try one more thing. No, it's not gonna work. Let me cut the batch size down. Let me load that. Uh, cut the learning rate down. Apex, Atom. Let me switch the optimizer to that. Should make things a lot faster. Let me turn WAN off just for testing. It's like not that much faster. Is it slow? Is this slow? We're going back to the CPU here. Um, get rid of that, and let's see now. Is it fast? So I reduced the batch size a ton. It's still slow. Are we getting 20 epochs per? Um, sorry, maybe if I have num workers to eight. No, but it can't be all the data set because then the batch size would have uh, would have would have broken it. Oh, that was fast. Oh, this is still slow. We want to make our batch size bigger. No, but that, okay, that got slower. I don't know, there probably isn't a magic trick to make it fast. Why did it do validation twice? Oh, that was the first one and second one. All right. Oh, well, that, that's actually a good bit lower. 
The examination led the experts to conclude. It's not spamming all that crap anymore. Okay, Val lost 70. Well, we did lower the learning rate. 69? 69! All right. Um, is this the good model? Let's see if it works on me at all. Nope. <laughs> uh, there probably isn't some magic trick to make this fast. You can read again to make sure I didn't do anything really stupid. Target lengths must be less than 256. They all are. T blank is zero. Well, I do have that zero infinity crap. Let's just get rid of that. I don't think we need it. Load that model. Um, maybe we'll only do validation if epoch mod two equals zero. Maybe we'll up the epochs to 300. That's a good number of epochs. We recreate the data loader every time. Do we have to do that? Uh, no, we just have to recreate the iterator, which I think is actually all we do. Never mind. Yeah, we create the data loaders up there. Commented that out. Um, oh, we stopped setting the, the loss in the description. Okay, that actually didn't do anything, so we'll put that back in. It's too slow. Boys, I like things fast. Um, oh, I think, can I do something with pinned memory? Maybe make it faster? I can tell the data loaders to pin memory. Workers is eight. There might even be too many workers. Um, Prefetch factor. It's probably pretty good. What does pin memory do? I don't know. You can just set it and make things faster. It like it locks the pages on the CPU, so you're not cache thrashing. Not faster. Let's just like look at H top and see. All right, I mean, this is using. The examination and testimony of the experts concluded. Didn't you feel like that used to look better? By the way, is that one in the Val set or the uh, or the Trans set? Did it freeze? This is terrible. I think anyone who mentions the word IQ from chat should just be banned because you add no value. 
Can your validation loss be lower than your training loss? Sometimes. Um, okay, well, I don't know what happened there. Maybe eight's too many workers. Let's try two workers. I don't know. I don't like trust this stuff. Um, cash looks pretty correct. What is being forked? There's not going to be some magic thing that makes this thing fast. That actually made it really slow though, so that's definitely not what we want. Um, no markers to if val else eight. Should we just pre-cache everything? It'll be in one pinned memory. Let's throw some TQDM around that. Um, let's put never should happen here. Oh, I didn't call any data. So we can prepare this cache. Uh, should we do it on more processes? That'll make it faster. Whatever, it's pretty fast. This probably isn't even the problem then. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll be fast. Come on, fast, 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 fast. Not fast. Useless. Useless. Completely and utterly useless. That is with batch size 64, though. This is gonna be the final run. I'll make it public so you guys can follow it. Collation function that's slow. Oh, different salad. No, it's a public project. 
But we already have some loss. Okay. All right, it feels like we've overfit a bit. No, 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 that's a pretty low value loss. All right, great. Okay, enjoy. We can, we can play with this. Maybe we'll play with this more this weekend. Um, I'm going to see how many subscribers I got. If I got a lot of subscribers and I see that you people really like this content, uh, we can come back to this this weekend. I have an idea that the reason it's slow is because the data loader is slow. Um, we can also enable CUDA cache. CUDA cache makes things very fast. Uh, so we'll figure out, how to, figure out how to make this all very, very fast. And then it's a lot more fun. Everything's more fun when shit's fast, you know? At 65, that's a pretty good val loss, I think. I don't know. Let's look, it's still going down. This is a pretty good model, I think. It's gotta be pretty good, don't you think? Give it one last try to run it on my, my, my example. Um, and then I gotta go, because really, I can't listen to Taylor Swift, and I gotta listen to Taylor Swift. I... The chicken has left the coop. The chicken has left the coop. Yeah, we gotta do like pitch augmentation and all that kind of shit. We want this to work with different voices. No, we still, we got Wednesday. I don't know. All right, all right, all right, let's try something stupid. The, 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 the. The, 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 the. Look at my thes, they're all very similar. Bop, oo, do, namas, hu, gla, nu, ga. All right, well. <laughs> It put the spaces in the right place, kind of. But you can see, look, the examination and testimony of the experts. Like, that's that's pretty close. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do this weekend if we get 100 subs. Um, no promises. Maybe we'll get 100 subs and I'll be like, ah, you know, I'm going to my land this weekend. But maybe we'll stream for you guys. Maybe. All right, look. Here's what we're going to do. First off, we're gonna figure out how to get a crap ton more data. And you know what our data needs? Do you know what, do you know what always improves data? You guys know it, diversity. The data needs more diversity. And if we get diversity for our data, uh, I, I don't know, but there's a lot of benefits to diversity. That's what I've heard, so we should get that. Um, then we're gonna figure out how to make it train faster because you know, crack is more addictive than cocaine because the onset is faster. I know you guys love when I talk about drugs, boys. I'm on drugs, boys. You know, is that, is that, is that what you want? Is that, is that what you want to see? Should I wear a clown nose on the next stream? That's right, that's right. Um, I don't know what I was saying about that. It just, wouldn't it be a lot more fun if this just trained in like 10 minutes? instead of having to sit here while the, the loss goes down a tiny bit, which you guys can watch live on my weights and biases. Look at that, it's still going down. Well, that's pretty nice, look at those. You guys can steal the model out of here. Um, the examination and testimony of the experts. Oh, like you see where it's coming from, right? Like that's pretty good. By the way, just, just so you guys know, the one, the one sentence here that we're listening, that we're trying to get, okay? The examination and testimony of the experts enabled the commission to conclude that five shots may have been fired. Like that's pretty close, right? The examination and testimony. Oh, I did still compute the val loss at every step. Never mind. did I just not write that right? Oh, I only put that in there. I just wanna put that whole thing in there, never mind. But whatever, we get a valve loss at every step then. 
it's not like I'm, I'm doing this every like I'm, I'm wasting 20% of my model train time whatever wait till we get the new one we're gonna train it with so much data it's gonna train so fast um, wow we got a hype train going we can't end the stream on a hype train uh, all right what else we got chat what else we got We got chat. Can can I come here? Pop out. That's right. We pop out at your party. I'm with the game. And this gonna be a robbery. So tuck your chain. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Jokes. Terra E. Dalton SC2. Floya. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Look at the numbers go down. Um, with different salad eight. Breakstar, thank you for subscribing. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to stream this weekend again. And we'll finish this. And it's going to be really cool when it starts to talk, don't you think? Like, I, I just got so excited. Um, I saw this. I saw this. Uh, whoa. Dust Insomnia, thank you. Kinslayer, Breakstar, thank you. Um, I just saw this. I saw this natural speech. Um... This one. Is it this one? This one just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this. I've been turn testing people around the office, like asking if they can hear the difference uh, between the machine and the and the and the human, and like you can't anymore. And I just thought that was really cool. You know, I, I just thought that we, we we live in a pretty uh, incredible world. Uh, I'll, I'll play some for you guys. Like, listen to this. Malt B and Company would issue warrants on them deliverable to the importer, and the goods were then passed to be stored in neighboring warehouses. Malt B and Company would issue warrants on them deliverable to the importer, and the goods were then passed to be stored in neighboring warehouses. You, you can't even you can't even tell anymore, uh, which one's the the computer and which one's the not computer, and just like what a world we live in, man. You know, because the truth is, oh, the first one's better. Yeah, and the first one's the machine, right? Everyone did. Most people actually said the machine was more human than the human. Uh, no, we're not close to the Turing test yet because there's still some big stuff missing. But everything that looks like and the, the dolly pictures are so cool. Um, you know, it, just just like what a world we live in. Uh, Put it on GPU directly when you create the tensors to speed it up. Yeah, but I'm doing that in the data loader. This is something I've always wanted to look into anyway. Uh, I'm interested in this for work. Uh, yo, we're, we got some... Comma is close to the AlphaGo moment. Uh, I posted a picture of our new data center. Uh, sorry, compute cluster. Uh, we, 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 got, we got lots of power in these machines. Uh, the whole thing is being trained in simulation now. So not exactly the model that we're shipping yet, but pretty soon for OpenPilot 09, we're gonna ship a model that's actually trained in simulation. Uh, so it'll have driven, uh, oh, those aren't cherry-picked examples. That, that's not a cherry-picked example. I, I think that's pretty legitimate. Um, all right, our model's overfitting a little. Well, not, really, not really overfitting, but just... Um, when do we get AI uh, race car drivers? Why do you want that? Who's Lisa Dole? Is that that's a Go player? I don't know, man. When do you get it? I don't know when you're gonna get it. Those are stupid questions. I have realized that maybe if I read chat less, I'll hate streaming less. Uh, thank you, guy who forced me to use function strings. We should use more function strings. Everybody can see this, right? You can you can all see different salad, right? So you can you can you can follow at home. Great. The testimony and validation of the experts. You can't see resource details. Oh, interesting. Well, you're not missing much. The examination testimony of the experts. Uh, 
Oh. This is also like... You're supposed to do like beam search, I think. I think you're not just supposed to do arc max like that. Uh, we can look into that too. But first we're gonna make the data loader fast. We're gonna make everything fast and we're gonna write some, some tests and some CI because tests and CI are always good. Okay, wow, level five hype train. Keep going until the clock runs out. Does WANDB wanna sponsor my stream? Um, how about this, WANDB, you take whatever money you were gonna to give to me and you make the back end of WANDB open source and we would use it at work. Uh, I would appreciate that more. And I know you're like, oh, I, look, I'll pay the money. I just, like, if the back end's not open source, I'm not getting locked into your thing when WANDB goes under or gets bought by MBAs, right? Like, that's the problem. I just can't trust your company unless it's open source. Uh, and that's why you can trust OpenPilot because it's open source. Um, now, I don't mean to insult WANDB. Like, this is cool, but fuck your business model, man. Like, you know, don't, don't keep the back end closed source because uh, I don't trust it. So I'm saying, I appreciate that your front end's open source, but like I can't use it because I want to add something to your back end and I can't because it's closed source. Um, you should be able to look at, look at all the other, oh yeah, no, well, yes, I know there's WANDB local, but if you, like what is this? Generate a free license from the deployer? Like, is this open source? I don't actually think it is. I think this is like a, like I gotta like run some Docker, right? Like I looked for where the actual code was and I didn't find it. Yeah, see, it's like this. It's something, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, I, I, I gotta go. I, you know, I, I, gotta, I, I gotta go. I, I said I was gonna stop streaming like seven times and I haven't stopped streaming yet. Uh, so now it's time. Goodbye. We back for a double stream today. That's right. I didn't even do any work today. All I did was speech. All I did was this speech shit. No, that's not true. I got encoder D merged. I tested encoder D. So if I broke your open pot, I'm sorry, but I tried not to. Uh, yo, let's wait for some people to get in here and then let's test the latest model because I did keep training models. Uh, I got a box that's got a bunch of 3080s in it. Uh, we can go in the boxes with the 3090s in it too. You want to use an A100? We got an A100. We can use the A100. Oh, oh the dishwasher is drying. Where's the, where's the, where's the, uh, the water at? Oh. Wait, is anyone here? I don't see anyone in, in, in the chat room. Mm. Wait, is it not live or is it live or I don't know. It should be live. Oh, are we still sub only or something? No? All right, we should be live. I don't know why we're not. We will refresh this. Connecting to chat. Oh, you're all here. I don't know. And does anyone else feel like everything's falling apart? Okay. So, last time we were here, we were on different salad eight. We've trained a lot more models since then. You guys can follow me right here on WANDB Tiny Voice. I'm taking off my Apple Watch. Oh, yeah. All right. Check out Unique C22. I added cyclic learning rate, one cycle LR. Think of climbing a mountain and then sliding back down. You climb the mountain, you slide back down. One cycle LR is the best learning rate. Um, but you'll see that our model overfit a little bit. So, um,. Let me just zoom in here on the y-axis. Yeah, you'll see that our model overfit a little and like these are the good epochs. So let's grab a model around like epoch 55. Uh, 
Oh, we have to grab them off the real remote computer too. Okay, fun. The project's called Tiny Voice on GitHub. Okay, so we're gonna have to grab the model off of this one. Models. Mm, sort of by time with T. Okay, we'll grab like Epoch 60 or something. Uh, models, SCP, from this fun tiny voice. Not Batman? Oh no, we've got, we've got to do models. Okay, now let's go over here. So I also found a bug from last time. Okay. My computer's named Tubby. We brought it over to Tubby. Do I still have my other window here? I do. So what I forgot to do last time, oh, we gotta do model.eval. Okay. Uh, no, we gotta pull. So I probably just should have pushed it. Probably pretty good. Okay. Now have we constructed the model? No, we haven't. Restart. Okay. Testing, hello. Welcome to the stream. Testing. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So we plotted that waveform. Now let's load the model. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Um, made a couple changes here. Um, load data. Do auto reload? I did. I don't know why it doesn't work. No, we don't want to have to restart that because my beautiful. Uh, I don't understand. I put that in a function now. I shouldn't do that. Why is auto reload not working? Hmm. Probably because we never actually imported it. Okay, we'll have to record again. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Now, for those of you that weren't here this Hello morning, and we're writing speech stream. recognition. We are pushing to Tiny Voice, and we're gonna see, what? Oh, I'm just sorry, I'm SSH'd, my bad. Um, that's why it didn't work, okay. Uh, this is not my local computer. So now when we run it, it'll work. Okay, great. Hmm. That's the best I've seen so far. That's almost something. The examination of the testimony of the experts. Uh, oh, also, I wrote the decoder wrong. So apparently, when you write these things, you, this is not the right decoder. Because it's allowed to have duplicates. Uh, to text is not defined from pre-process import to text. And guys, if this doesn't work, we got some great uh, stuff 
ready for you guys. If you guys missed this morning's stream, I'll play this audio for you that we are successfully. Uh, the examination and testimony of the experts enabled the commission to conclude that five shots may have been fired. So this is going to be a long stream. I think we're going to be streaming tomorrow too. By the end of this, maybe we're actually going to get it to recognize speech. Okay, so let's rewrite your text, but let's write it properly. So this is a classic. We want to join all neighboring duplicates. So we could think, or we can Google, join neighboring duplicates Python. And someone probably wrote here, remove adjacent duplicate elements from a list. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Iter tools group by. Perfect. I knew there was some magic Python. Uh, import Iter tools, Iter tools group by X. Um, K for KG and oh, not that. Got to copy the whole example. We could try to figure out what that does, but you know that involves a lot of thinking. Okay. Um, oh well, they shouldn't be tensors. Let's say x dot numpy. No, we shouldn't really do that. We should actually probably put that out here. Okay, cool. Uh, the examination of the testimony of experts uh, conclude five shots may have been fired. That's a lot closer to the real thing, right? That's pretty pro. Now let's go back to my example. Let's try recording again. Oh yeah, I gotta forgot, I gotta sound like the LJ speech lady. I found out that LJ is Linda Johnson and it's named that because... The examination and testimony of the ex... All right, let's try it. The examination and testimony of the experts enabled me to conclude that I should kidnap a dog. The examination and testimony of the experts enabled me to conclude. Ah. Oh. No, it still doesn't work. It's actually getting good, right? It's not good yet at generic stuff. It still can't recognize my speech. Okay, so we have two approaches that we're gonna take. One approach is improving the model. And the other approach is improving the data set. Oh, the, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, the output's crap. Don't worry, you're not missing anything. Uh, it doesn't work yet. And it's because my voice doesn't sound like Linda Johnson's. Also, I don't need to put torch sensor there. I can just write a load example. Okay. Great. Um, I kind of feel like the data set one is going to be more productive, and we can kick that one off sooner before we mess with models. So I downloaded this data set in preparation for you guys. It's called Libri Speech. Libri means free, and speech means speech. I think these are different uh, listeners. We have flax, and I don't know how to load a flack in Python. I also refactored it off stream. Um, so let's make a new file here called preprocesslibri.py. 
So pre-process over here. Um, can I get a terminal down here? Terminal. Great. Oh no, that's on Tubby. Oh, I'm on the wrong computer. Okay, guys, don't let me do this. This is the problem with working on two computers. Okay, here I'm on this. Now we're gonna do pre-process Libri. Or pre-process up there, Move that over there, do this here. All right, we have the data set path. Libre speech. Um, os.lister, os.path.join, dataset, train clean 100. Mm, split terminal. Oh, look, we got another terminal over here. Okay, this is fun. Uh, tiny voice, chmod plus x, preprocess Libri, preprocess Libri. Oh, Another change that I made off stream was I just loaded the entire uh, data set into the memory of the GPU. Um, okay. Uh, great. So these are more directories. These are even more directories. There's a better way to do this, I think. And we'll just do it like this. such dir uh, oh because we have to merge oh this is terrible guys okay good now we're at the flax um fn equals os path join Are you guys making useful comments or useless comments? I see a lot of useless comments from you guys. Um, if fn dot ends with flack, I'm gonna have to figure out how to open a flack. Uh, does Torch Audio open flacks? I could use glob module. Should we ban useless comments? Yeah, I think maybe we should. No, one person's noise is not another person's signal. That's bullshit. And contrary to what they told you in, you know, care about your feeling school, there are dumb questions. There are dumb people. Okay. Torch audio load. Let's try it. Um... Print rat exit zero. Let's try preprocess Libre. Torch audio is undefined. We're getting port torch audio. Great. So that actually works the same. Um, we can just take load example and put it up here. Uh, we can even use sample rate. Sample rate is 1600. We should keep that assertion. Um, we gotta return the mel spec gram. And then let's print ret.shape. Tuple object has no attribute shape. Oh, because we did this, not load example. Okay, 
850. So that's actually within the X max. I think we're going to have to raise X max for this data set. Okay, but not too much though. So X max is because we have to pad them all to the same uh, length. Oh. This might actually be different. I'm not sure these are going to be compatible. It does sound like a later problem, though. Okay. Let's uh, let's get x max. I'm sure we could actually, if we wanted to do this faster, we could uh, like I'm sure this like Torch Audio can actually load this data set. We're improving the data set right now, so we're we're accessing the Libre Speech data set. One of the nice things about the Libre Speech data set is it includes many. Uh, can I play a file in here? Can I like add like a... Can I play this? Open anyway. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, so those are all good. Load example just works. Um, so we'll copy this code from here. Oh, we have to figure out how to get the metadata. So I think the metadata are in these. Oh, shit. The metadata are in these directories. Let's go over here and look. So we got to just get that get the trans.txt. Um, okay, and it's actually pretty clear what that's called. So we can just say this dash this dot trans dot txt. Uh, actually, no, that's sorry, I got to use format strings now. Okay, so this should work. Uh, That's D and that's DL. Uh, meta. All right, let's take a look at this file and see what it is. Okay, great. Um, so in order to, okay. Watch this dictionary comprehension, boys. K colon V for, no, no, no. Okay, first we're gonna map X dot split space comma one for X in meta. Um, then we're gonna say K colon V for KV in this. Oh, actually, it's probably just better to say dict meta, and then we'll say nn equals uh, d dash dl dash dll. Okay, so then here we can say y equals meta sub nn. And if I did that right, call this X. If I did this right, that should work, but I probably didn't do it right. Let's just print a couple Y's to make sure. Uh, dictionary update sequence element zero has length one. Uh, what did I do? Oh, this is just a path. Oops. Uh, meta equals open meta dot read dot strip. All right, fine. Let's see what I did. Mm. 
Oh, um, yeah, not for x and that split slash n. That should do it. Key error. Okay, well, it's a different error. Looks okay, you don't think? Oh, it's because I forgot my F. Who, who knew I forgot the F? Can you guys pay attention? Mm. Oh, and that, because this has flack. Oh, okay, never mind. It's actually just DLL uh, sub minus five. Mm, actually, that's probably just a better thing to write. Because that'll cut the word flack off it. Ditch the flack. Uh, key error dot flack. Okay, well, it's not that. It's not this. Oh my god. All right, it's late. It's late, guys. Maybe I shouldn't stream. Okay, good. Uh, good. We're making progress now. Um, oh, we don't even need an Xmax anymore. Xmax isn't even used here. This will just be figured out. Oh, well. Okay. We do probably want to say a few things like if um, let's figure out the length of y. Print x dot shape sub zero comma length y. So we probably want to filter some out here. Actually, I might have removed that filtering. I think I did remove that filtering. Make Y max 250. Uh, if X shape dot zero less than X max and Y length Y is less than Y max. Then we'll add it to the total. Let me throw a TQDM around one of these. TQDM auto import TQDM just so we can get some, some printables. All right. Then we're going to save this as Libri. Did I spell it right? Okay, good. Libri. Now we're gonna import torch. Okay, good. Uh, let's just test it quickly by like doing two of those. Okay, looks good. Um, do you think we need float thirty twos or do you think float sixteens will be okay? I don't know how fast this is gonna be. Probably not very fast at all. Whatever. Let's run it and let it run for a bit until we get bored. Okay. Um, let's look up the documentation for Mel Spectrogram. Figure out if this, what units this stuff is in. NFFT. I don't know about that. Like, is this in some normalized thing or non normalized thing? By the way, I copied these parameters from, um, all right, should we, should we write this to make it go fast? What's the slow part here? Is this the slow part? Okay. Uh, dispatch.append x comma y. 
Let's see if this is fast. I can't help myself but make things fast. You know that, right? I love making things fast. All right, let's go. And let's do the TQDM on this one. Dispatch is not defined. Data defined dispatch. Okay, that's super fast. Great. Um, for x comma y in dispatch. TQDM dispatch. Okay, it's gonna finish in three minutes. We don't have to really make that faster then. This is pretty cool, thank you, thank you. Um, man, you know, I'm Taylor Swift, man. Taylor Swift is the reason I'm streaming for you guys today, so make sure if you ever meet Taylor Swift, tell like George Hot says, I don't know what I say. Um, Python goes burr, that's right. Should we do it in PyPy? Maybe it'll be faster. Okay. When you're indenting like that, highlight and move once. What? Oh my god. Can you guys, like, we're, we're writing speech recognition. We just processed Libri speech. And then we're going to put Libri speech into the model and we're going to train the model right here in REC. Right, but right here we're loading the LJ. So we can, you know. Decent. Decent. So we can try here. Um, in load data, we can put in Libri now. So instead of loading the LJ, we can load the Libri. Now, I don't know how big the Libri is going to be. It might be really large, in which case it doesn't fit in GPU RAM. And then... Yeah, we're trying to get some variation in the data. So the problem with LJ speech is that it's one woman who speaks all of it. So Libri speech has uh, diversity and we love diversity on this channel. Uh, so yeah. Um, no, it's not based on a transformer. Okay, so you know what we can also do? We can work on improving the model. Let's, let's work on improving the model while that runs. Uh, so first, let me show you that my trainer works. Uh, I probably don't want to run it there. I probably want to run it in a normal window over here. Um, so it's called rec. And you can run it with WAN equal one if you want WAN DB. We're not changing that stupid thing. So first it loads all my data onto the GPU. Um, this is the full Libri speech that's pre-processed. Uh, I moved it to pre-processing so we don't have to... So what's the model? The model is here and it's kind of shitty. Um, it is a neural net. I wrote it on the morning stream. All right, now we see that we're, we're running. But let's write a less shitty model. Okay. So a few things to note, the ordering is, uh, wait, that's not right. Don't control C that. I was gonna control C that and that would have been a bad idea, okay. The ordering of these things, it's just being selected here. Um, so we're gonna have to do a little transformation. The order, is time batch frequency. Batch frequency. So first we're gonna do an x dot permute. Um, and we're just gonna permute it like that, which will permute it into uh, batch time frequency. And then, Oh, but actually, if I just say batch first equals yes, I think this just works. Can I just do that? I hate temporal batch norm. I'm just going to test this quickly. I don't know why I didn't think to put the permute down there. I'm going to delete this stupid code. Uh, I think we need to change it back.
Yeah, we need to permute it back here too. So in order to permute that, we would just want to say, I think it's the same. That is the inverse of that. Uh, I don't know why I do zero there. I guess that's, oh, that's me selecting from the encoder. Okay, great. Libri is pre-processed, so we have Libri as an option as well. But let's first just see if I didn't break anything there. Uh, and if I'm loading a model, I did break it. No, I'm not loading a model, good. Actually, I'm gonna mess with the model. Okay, running mean should contain 684 elements, not... <laughs> Two fifty six. Oh, I actually probably want to do batch frequency. No, I'm not happy with that either way. Which is the most like channels in the neural net? We want to do convolutions. Let's just look at it. Let's look up TorchConf today. We're going to throw some convolutions in here. I'm going to see what we get. Okay. The input is N, C in, height, and width. So I think we only have one channel coming in. Um, the height is the frequency, and the width is the time. So we want to actually put two here. It doesn't matter where, actually the height and the width don't matter. Um, and then we'll, uh, how do I add an axis there? Like that. Let's just write a quick thing to test the model. Uh, we want to make a model rec and we want to run it on uh, torch.0's time. So let's say 200, batch which is 32, and frequency which is always 80, okay. Let's just see if that runs. Number of dims don't match in permute. I don't understand, that's three dims, right? Unless that doesn't do that for some reason. Print x dot shape. Number of dims don't match in permute. But I see three there. Did I do something wrong? One, two, two, two. That is what I was doing, right? Do I not have the What's not that? You're saying this isn't right? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's this permute that's failing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's, this, it's this one that fails, okay. Okay. So now let's look at our shape and make sure that it actually is batch time frequency. All right, good. Batch time frequency. So this is effectively um, batch channels. So, so think about it as like a monochrome image. Right, or do we want to treat the 80 like channels? No, we don't want to treat them like channels because they have spatial uh, locality to them. So we use a convolution. So this is uh, height and width. So if I were to throw a convolution in here, um, let's say nn sequential nn.conv2d. Uh, Check. 
channels in, channels out. Let's come in with one channel. Let's comp it up to 16 channels, and the kernel size can be three. X equals self dot encode X. Does that work? Great. Uh, oh, we want to do. We want them to not to pad. Uh, this is like a mode for that, right? Padding mode. No, not zeros. Uh, padding. Uh, it's like valid or same. Padding the same. We just test it. I don't know how anything works. Okay. Good. Um. Let's write a let's write a block res block. Uh, what's the classic res block? I think we just have C here, um, and it's just a sequential uh, and conv two D C. Uh, we want to do a batch norm two D batch norm two D C. Uh, and then we throw a ReLU. I still don't know, do you put your ReLUs before your batch norms or after your batch norms? Yeah. ReLU, uh, call batch norm, uh, and then forward self x equals uh, return x plus self dot block x. All right, so it's residual. Uh, we gotta throw a super init in there. Let's throw a few res blocks in here. This should just work, right? Um, it's probably too many. Ah, uh, yes. Let's do some rough math on whether that's an insane number of dimensions. Mm, I don't think that's an insane number of dimensions. I think we can maybe even do more. But um, all right, now we'll just throw C equals 16. Put C's here. Um, now let's comp it back down. Uh, now we can run it through recurrent. I'll just call it grew. Self dot grew x, and then the decoder we can probably keep the same. Yeah, that's good. So it's actually just prepare that we changed. Um, H, that's good. Uh, oh, though we are going to need to uh, get rid of that channels column. So I think it's just X of this. That should just do it. Input size minus one, expected to be equal. Oh. Oh, it's because expected 256 got 80. This isn't what we actually want to do for the last one. We want to do a... steps. Would it be too crazy? What's 80 times 16? No, that's normal. Okay. Um, let's permute 0, 2, 3, 1. That'll put the 16 at the end, right? So that'll make the channel last. 
right. Now we want to reshape. Um, let's just say bs equals x dot shape sub one. So we want to reshape it to be. Oh uh, well, it's actually even easier than that. X equals x dot reshape. Uh, x dot shape zero. X dot shape one minus one. That should merge the eighty and the sixteen into one dimension. Okay, great. Now let's put a linear layer uh, in the front of the GRU. Self dot uh, flatten equals nn dot linear uh, 1280h. That should actually be c times 80. You know the frequency is 80. Uh, x equals self dot flatten x. That should bring this dimension down to 32, 200, 256. Has no attribute flatten because I put equals equals. Thirty-two, two hundred, two fifty-six. Okay, that should go into the GRU now, which should not actually change the dimension of it. It should stay the same. Input must have three dimensions. Got two. I see three dimensions. One, two, three. Input must have three dimensions. Got two. Oh, why am I doing that? Okay, so that runs the GRU now. And now we can put it through the decoder. The decoder is going to give it uh, 32, 200, 10. Running mean should contain 200 elements, not 128. OK. So that actually, that thing didn't work, the thing that I did with batch norm 1D. Should we just put temporal batch norm back and just reshape it? As much as I hated temporal batch norm, it did work. We know tempor temporal batch norm is well-tested code, and you should never just carelessly throw away well-tested code just because you think you could write it more efficiently. I wrote this on the morning stream. So we can change these back to temporal batch norms. Uh, and then we're going to permute here. We don't want to actually put batch there. We want to put, let's try that. We should actually do exactly the same thing, except we'll change batch first back to false. So this is a batch, uh, that's the time, and that's the frequency. Uh, we have 29, which is right, because that's how many characters we have in the character set. Now we can return our log softmax again, and it should be good. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Now I think it should train, right? Unless I broke something. Let's see how fast it trains, first of all. It's a lot slower. Why is it slow? Is it using the GPU? 98%, okay, it is using the GPU. I don't know, maybe I made a lot of those res blocks. Maybe 16 was a crazy big number. It's really slow. I hate when shit's slow. Mm. The only thing I really changed, let's look at a diff here. Okay, so I changed that, that's irrelevant. I added this code for res block. I replaced this with that and I added this linear layer in here. Mm. 
Hmm. Let's get rid of a res block and let's go down to C equals eight. Maybe that'll make things fast. We were getting about 12 per second before. Let's make sure I wrote a good res block too. Okay, we're getting six per second now. It's not really very good. Uh, what do the res blocks actually look like? Transformers, no, that's not too many res blocks. Uh, add, oh, we gotta put a ReLU at the end of the res block, I forgot that. Um, and then dot functional dot ReLU. Uh, we don't need to print out that size anymore. Height batch WC That doesn't matter. Because so we're combining them anyway. The height and the batch stay. The height is effectively the height is time, so that's time. Uh res block. That's even slower? How's that slower? What? A 3080 is better than a V100. I don't understand. I just changed something and then I changed it back. There's no way that it... You can use a bottleneck res block with a one by one comp. I could. This shouldn't be slow. But wait, let's just talk about why this is slow. It just shouldn't be. It doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be these permutes that are making it slow. Grew's the same size, all this stuff is the same. Double check param order. Okay, I'll do that. But the relus didn't make it slow. No, that's a joke. Okay, so this should be like a normal convolution. Batch norm, we have a ReLU. Yeah, that's okay. 870 by 80. Maybe that's like a really large picture. Maybe we should be calming it down. Maybe we want a stride. There's no way C equals 16 is faster. It just should not be that slow. Use mixed precision. This is when I diff back to when I knew it was fast. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, bro. I agree with you. Okay. So let's diff back to when we knew it was fast. That is good thinking. Okay, 
Did we, we had another. Oh. oh. Well, that's one of the reasons it's slow, because I'm running two of them. Oh, bros. Bros, why didn't you tell me I was running two of them? Oh, why didn't you tell me? Why don't you be like, George, you were running two of them because none of y'all are paying attention. Were you running any others? That's a different... <laughs> Local variable h reference before assignment. Okay. Um, what will we settle for in terms of speed? It also reduce the batch size, probably pretty big. Right, that's not too terrible. That's half of the speed it was before. And we have some good quality convolutions. Let's up that to 16 and see what we get. Let's see if it's still slow. We should also, can we print out a model summary of how big the model is? Like just to see if I did anything stupid with like, slower. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Let's strive this one. Uh, we want to stride it one comma C over two. That should be a lot faster. That should only that should reduce it to ten there. All right, we're not losing any information. Padding same is not supported for strided convolutions. Um, well, I don't really care about, let's try that. So I don't want to lose any on the time axis. I mean, I guess I don't really care, but no, I do. I like when these things match. What data am I currently using? This is Libre speech. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not right. Um, Divided by, this is two times 80 then. Our strides are C over two. This should be pretty good, right? Like that's, this is pretty good, this is a good encoder. That's a much better encoder. Convolutions for feature extraction, and we're using a, we're using a groove for uh, all right, great, we're back to speed. All right, the speed's back, boys, the speed's back. Okay, so let's kick off this model to train. Let's see how it does. WAN equals one. If you guys don't know, I'm on weights and biases. So you can just go to WANDB GeoHot, tiny voice. Um, our new model is called uh, Rose Elevator. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's compare Rose Elevator to Unique C, which is my, my recent run of a model. Okay, the losses are looking pretty good. The losses are looking actually identical. The losses are actually scarily identical. Like you think this convolution just doesn't do anything at all. It does manage to use more power in my GPU though, but a smaller percentage of the power. Oh, because I trained this one on a 3080 and now I'm on a 3090. All right, so how's my loss coming? Wait, 
these models look scarily identical. I made big, I made major changes to the architecture. I guess that goes to show that model architecture just doesn't matter at all. Well, I didn't do something stupid. I'm not like training on the wrong computer, am I? Uh, oh, I'm not saved. I'm not saving the zero anymore for some reason. I don't know why not. Why did I, why did I take that out? That was such bad design. All right, whatever. We'll find out at Epoch 5 whether saving the model works or not. Are they both Libre? Yeah, they're both free, but only one of them is called Libre. Okay, so we can let that train. It literally, how did I change the architecture so much and it looks the same? Okay, it's going down a little faster. Let's do some augmentations. Oh, you missed that. I already did augmentations. That's already there. All right, let's change data sets. Let's just see first off if Lodeo Libre works. Um, well, actually, you know what we can do? We can kick off this job on a different computer. Sorry if you were looking forward to that name. It's going to get a new name. Uh, save first epoch. Let's uh, put my SSH agent into here. Let's pull over here. No, uh, SSH add, SSH IDRSA, SSH agent. You guys know how to do this, boys? Identity. Now we can SSH into this node. Uh, oh no! Tiny voice. We should do this in a session, but it is hardwired. I don't know how to use like no hop. You know, I should know how to do this with no hop. Okay. Let's WAN rack over here. I should not have done that in an SSH session. You can yell at me for that. Don't start long running jobs in SSH sessions. Um, okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, complain about NumPy all you want. Comfy sponge. Who's rooting for the comfy sponge? Uh, sorry about Rose Elevator. Well, it was, it was a good start. We know that it's not totally broken. So the comfy sponge is coming and it's training over there where we don't have to think about it. Now over here, we can try out the new data set, the Libre, pre-processed just for us. I believe in the Libre. It actually trains just as fast now that we did those, those other things, because it really is just a linear layer, but mixing it a bit, so. Okay, um, let's see how big the data is. You know when they talk about big data? Sometimes the data is too big. And then if your data is too big, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, so this times this times this. Up, oh, up. Oh. Wait, no, that wasn't because the data is too big. Uh, this data is double that and a little bit bigger there. Okay, it'll fit on my GP, no problem. This is a different problem. Can only concatenate list, not string to list. Let's just add some. Uh, you guys know how we do debugging on this channel, right? We uh, we add prints. Okay, so the data is about double the size in Libre Speech, but the key thing is it has diversity. We can check back in on my model over here. All right, looks okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I is not defined. Oh. For I in samples. I feel like it's going to be obvious once we see what the bug is. 
Those are supposed to be lists. Where did I do that processing? I did it over here? And I ran it in this one, but it's gone. We sit and we wait while the data loads. So we just copy the entire data set over to the GPU because we're lazy. And we're not using the, oh. Oh, I pre-processed the characters there for this one and I didn't for that one. Is that fast? Uh, yeah, see, I, I, I pre-processed the data um, from text x. We're not using a data loader anymore. So we'll see if it's slow. Um, Oh, this doesn't have my great improved decoder from my Mac, which we should push. It's hard to work on two computers. Uh, from text, okay. So we have to add, um, it's kind of annoying. Okay, we'll call it targets equals from text, which we'll import here for pre-process. Uh, from text x or i in samples. Um, length x for x in targets. Remember when map actually was a function and people used it before it was terrible? That should work. Oh, but of course, this only applies. <sighs> should we just pre process Libre again? Yeah, we probably should. Or we can, you know, we can pre process LJ again. Never mind. Okay. Careful. This is only for Libre. I know a good hack. Uh, if type x, y, i sub 2 is list, <laughs> that's really what I want. Um, whatever, it's fine for now. Let's see if it works. Okay, okay. Let's see how our model is doing. Uh, by the way, I love weights and biases, and I was like, why can't we use this at work? And it's because it's close source. But this is pretty nice. Okay. It's not falling as fast, but that's acceptable. That's not what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're printing out way too many useless things. Uh, control C. Okay, um, this train's slower because of that crap. Did I figure out how to make it faster? Yeah, I made it faster. I just, I strided the first convolution a lot. Okay, this is training on, uh, on Libre speech and it's slower. Which is interesting. Um, we could get a profiler out and start profiling this stuff. But it might be past profiler o'clock. It is 8 o'clock. So um, I think it might be past profiler o'clock. I don't know what to tell you. Profilers are for when you're bright and bushy tailed in the morning. Um, but, you know, for when it's late, you, you know, it's not time, it's not, it's not profiler o'clock. Okay, will the model trained on Libre speech learn, by the way? Now, interesting fact, I didn't change the validation sample. The validation sample, not the val loss, but the validation sample 
is still on uh, the other one. Let's, let's throw this one in WAN as well. Is COM in frequency space? Yeah, so it's in frequency versus time space. The convolution model seems to do about as well as the other model. You don't really see much of a difference. So unique C, is there a way to like label and say like here, we'll rename run, this is um, linear model good. This is, whoops. Uh, Oh, terrible, it's terrible, terrible, I can't click. Rename run, we'll name this com model test. And good galaxy, we'll rename to com model with libre speech. Let's open the eye. Take a look, this is being trained on a completely different data set. So if this one has similar characteristics, it really has nothing to do with the data set. The highest GPU power usage. No, I think those are just fake. It comes back down. But that one actually is gonna be different because that's being trained on a 3090, not a 3080. It's slower probably because I didn't do the text pre-processing because I was lazy and I'll pay for it later. Never be lazy. And one day I'll learn that lesson, tomorrow. Hmm. I mean, if this one learns to recognize it, let's see how this is doing in the validation. Okay. The examination and testimony of the experts is pretty, it's something. Um, by the way, someone asked earlier if your val loss can get lower than your real loss. And the answer is, of course, especially if you're using dropout, which we're now using. We added regularization to the model. We're using dropout. We're using, um, ooh, ooh, you want to do something real ballsy? We could load the data set and then use Libre speech as a val as, and use LJ speech as a validation set. That's, that's, that's like cross domain validation set. Uh, all right, I don't know, what do we do when the models train? Do we just like chill? Are we gonna chill while the models train? I don't know, you guys can see this, right? Go on my WANDB. Do we think this model uh, oh, it's a shame we changed the model because otherwise we could resume one. We shouldn't have done both at the same time. We should have done one at a time and we should have resumed this model on the new data set. That would have been the thing to do. Oh, we want to make it faster? Making it faster sounded fun this morning. It just doesn't sound faster or it doesn't sound fun right now. Mm, just we have to like kill it and like, I uh. Okay, well, the conv model and the linear model do exactly the same. Which almost makes me wonder if there's a bug. And like, I'm not running the conv model for some reason. But I pretty clearly am. So maybe it just doesn't matter. ReLU, added that ReLU. That res block is pretty right. I could write faster res blocks, but again. Why does this, oh! Oh, this is gonna be different because there's a different number of batches. I didn't think any of this through. Train, 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 train. Could make an intentionally terrible model, I could. Okay, this one hasn't learned anything yet. But actually, it's unclear if it will because this is on a completely, my validation thing is on a completely different data set. And this one is a little slower, but I think it's just because the GPU got hot. No, it's not that hot.
Mm. Look, look, look. Maybe this is overfitting. Maybe right there is overfitting, and Libre Speech doesn't overfit. Uh, all right. What do I do while... I don't know. We're going to stop streaming. That's it. That's all we got right now. We'll, we'll, we'll have to come back when it's done training. Can we play a game? No. This is all we're doing on this stream. No, no more rants. Uh... No, 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 no. You're all remembering. You're all making me remember why I hate streaming. We came here to code. Well, we do all the model trains. Okay, we got some S's. I mean, if it really learns to recognize that, that thing would be would be amazing. But we don't know. So that's it. That's all we got. Thanks for watching the stream. Pay attention on uh, on on my WAN DB. Uh, to follow along, let me make sure the latest thing is committed uh, on Tiny Voice. Uh, oh, but that breaks it on. Oh. Uh, Libri only. Just rerun the Libre speech preprocessor. This one learns, but it just overfits. Now it's not overfitting in general because we do have a real validation set, but what's happening is we're overfitting Linda Johnson. Um, you know, we're not gonna get any results on this. This we're only on epoch four. This needs to train for a hundred epochs uh, before we can get any real results. And actually, this is all so misleading because um, I didn't make the epoch a fixed number of samples because this data set is twice as large as the other data set. How much money RAM am I using, by the way? I think 14, 15 gigs. Really what we want to do is we want to load both data sets. Train on a huge data set. Uh, yeah, and then that'll be good because we have a lot of data. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow early in the morning uh, to see how this model trained. And tomorrow, guys, here's what's going to happen tomorrow. And I need you all to subscribe because I saw that I got 70-something subs, and I'm like, damn, all right, fine, you know, I should stream, you know. Uh, let's see, what's this paper? You're a subscriber. Let's look at your... Look at the paper you linked. Which one? Poly loss, a polynomial expansion perspective. What does this have to do with anything? Oh, is this a replacement for categorical cross entropy? Oh, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Asamiu so so would be so so Fabi Bell. Look, it's just looking like to listen like baby. Oh man, because if this model works on that, I think it's going to work on my voice. Unless I wrote bugs. Wait, let's just check something quickly. Is it possible that I didn't scale things correctly? Let me just look at the statistics quickly. Uh, let's just say like, you know, val.max. Oh! I don't think mine has that. Maybe it does because it's a mel spectrogram. Hmm, that's no, similar-ish. We'll concatenate the images.
look pretty much the same. I can't visually see the difference, but in one we get Fame Vizzy Sosa's, and, and this, remember, this is the noise we recorded, so. The examination and testimony of the experts enabled me to conclude. Yeah, so. They look very similar to just me looking at them. I did write this processor myself, so. You don't know if it's any good, but, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, let's come up with a schedule. Let's come up with a time. Let's say nine o'clock. We'll be back. We'll check on these models, and we'll uh, we'll make it work tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's gonna recognize my voice. But my real goal for the weekend is to make it talk. Not just recognizing, but also speaking. And it will speak with its tiny voice, and you'll be able to type words, and it will say them. Uh, what do we got? Thank you, thank you. Better than categorical cross-entropy. I'll check it out. Uh, good night.